In this video, you will see what is the top 10 must-have units in the Halloween Anime Last Stand update. Every unit in this video are all obtainable and not from trading. I do want to know what do you think is the best unit in this Halloween update. Remember to subscribe and like. And with that being said... In no particular order, the first must-have unit is Dracula No Restriction. Alucard is one of the newest unit added in this Halloween update and he became one of the strongest damage per second with his insane passive and full AoE. Dracula no restriction stats a max upgrade and max LR, 29.1 million damage with his bleed dealing 40.7 million with his SPA at 4.68 seconds making his damage per second at 14,914,529 which is extremely good especially with him becoming fully we at later upgrades and his insane passive dracula and no restriction passive blood loss every 40 seconds all enemies in range affected by bleed will explode which is extremely strong for infinites and against bosses how to get Dracula no restriction is by opening the new Halloween capsule and there is a pity of 750 so good luck to everyone who is grinding for Dracula especially he is a limited unit so if you're a collector you already know to grind for this unit. Dracula no restrictions best traits are glitch avatar and overlord okay next is grammy unleash grammy is insanely strong unit especially he is good for early defense and have an insane ability at later upgrades for caverns portals and many more grammy unleash stats a max upgrade a max of lr 44 million damage with his sp at 4.0 one eight seconds making his damage per second at 10.5 million which is extremely good with his insane passive grammy gets an ability at later upgrades when activated it will deal 15 billion damage to all enemies in grammy's range which is extremely overpower oh my gosh Grammy's unleashed best traits are glitched avatar and overlord all right next in is quincy king awakened quincy king is still one of the strongest unit especially he has a strong passive ability and becomes a full aoe at later upgrades in this new halloween anime last stand update quincy king stats a max upgrade a max of lr 43 million damage with his lightning dealing 15 million with his SPA at 7.22 seconds, making his damage per second at 8 million, which is extremely good, especially Quincy King has a passive on placement where he will buff all allies' damage in his range by 10%, and at later upgrades, he will get an ability where he will deal 15 billion damage when activated, which is extremely good. How to get Quincy King is by summoning on the World 2 Ultimate Banner. Quincy King best traits are glitched, avatar, and overlord. Okay, next in is Flame Breather. Rengoku is one of the strongest burn units, especially he is hybrid on placement and is affordable at wave 2, making him insanely strong for legend stages, portals, and caverns. Flame Breather stats a max upgrade and max of LR, 12.9 million damage, with his flame dealing 15.5 million and his SPA at 3.66 seconds, making his damage per second at 7,759,562, which is insanely good, especially on how affordable he is on early waves. How to get Flame Breather is from Demon Capsule, and you can farm Demon Capsule from the Infested City Infinite Mode in World Uno, World 1. Alright, next in it is 7th Company, Captain Former. Benny Maru is still one of the best affordable dark unit, especially he is a heal unit where he will be able to attack both air enemies and ground enemies in this new Halloween anime last hand update. 7th Company Captain Former stats a max upgrade and max of LR. 11.2 million damage with his Dark Flame dealing 53.8 million and his SPA at 4.19 seconds, making his damage per second at 15,513,126. Not later upgrades, Benny Maru will deal Dark Flame damage, which is incredibly overpowered for Legend stages, caverns, and many more. I highly recommend to pull for this unit as I consider this unit so valuable along with the units mentioned in this video oh my gosh <laughs> how to get seventh company captain former is by summoning on the world 2 ultimate banner okay next in it is ichigo moonless sky ichigo is one of the best unit especially on how cheap he is to place down as a godly unit 
with an extremely strong base stats with this overpower passive in this new Halloween anime last stand update. Ichigo Moonless Sky stats a max upgrade and max of LR 37.3 million damage with his Dark Flame dealing 179 million and his SPA at 9.36 seconds making his damage per second at 23,108,874. Ichigo Moonless Sky's passive God is Dead he will increase 10% damage and increases 5% crit chance for all units in range which is insanely good especially he has one of the biggest range which means he will be able to buff a lot more units. With Ichigo Moonless Guy only being 650 yen to place down which is extremely strong for caverns, portals, legend stages and many more. If you have Ichigo Moonless Guy on your first slot, he will be able to buff your whole team by 50% for only the first 5 waves, which is the worst team buff, so I highly recommend to not have him as your team leader. Ichigo Moonless Guy's best traits are Glitched, Avatar, and Overlord. Alright, next in is Umura Segunda. Ukura is still one of the best affordable nature unit with his insane range and how cheap he is to place down, which will be great for early defending. Ulmura Segunda stats a max upgrade and max LR, 21.8 million damage with his SPA at 5.91 seconds, making his damage per second at 3,688,663, which is insanely strong, especially he is a nature unit. How to get Ulmura Segunda is from the Hollow Dimension in World 1 Act 6, where he is a 5% drop rate from both Normal and Nightmare. Umura Segunda's best traits are Glitched, Avatar, and Overlord. Okay, next in is Shadow and Rage. Sid is one of the newest unit added and he became insanely strong with his extremely good stats and fully we in this new Halloween anime last stand update. Shadow and Range stats a max upgrade and max of LR, 42.8 million damage with his bleed dealing 59.9 million with his SPA at 4.67 seconds making his damage per second at 21,798,715 which is insanely good especially he becomes a fully we at later upgrades. Shadow and Range passive Celestial Strike upon activating the ability it will deal 10 billion global new and damage done to enemies turns into base HP which does not overheal the base. How to get Shadow in Rage is through the brand new Halloween portal which he became obtainable again despite of him being limited unit from the summer event. There is a possible chance of getting Sid as the drop on one of the Halloween portal does not matter what tier it is. Shadow in Rage best traits are Glitched, Avatar, and Overlord. Alright, next in is True Curse King. Takuna is one of the strongest damage per second with this nuke ability at later upgrades and team buff. True Curse King stats a max upgrade and max of LR, 27.3 million damage with his dismantle dealing 62.4 million and his SPA at 6.12 seconds making his damage per second at 14,656,862 which is incredibly strong. When having True Curse King as your leader, he will buff your team's range by 35% which is incredibly good. Do keep in mind that you can only have one leader buff by equipping one of the godlies in the first lot. How to get True Curse King is by equipping all of the 7 Deadly Sins Evolve units, Pride Noon and Megumi Evolve and talk to Kusukuna at the summon area at World 2. When done correctly, you should be able to evolve your Sukuna. At the last upgrade, he will get a new manual ability where he will be able to nuke the enemies. <gasps> Gasp! Okay, next one is Riku Kai. Rukia is one of the best support with her insane passive and damage at later upgrades. Riku Kai stats a max upgrade and max of LR. 42.3 million damage with her SPA at 5.97 seconds, making her damage per second at 7,085,427 which is insanely good. How to evolve Riku from Epic to Ultimate is by grinding the latest Wanderish Raid in World 2 and I highly recommend getting this unit especially she is a water unit with an insane passive where she will be able to apply frostbite to enemies who get too close which is causing them to be frozen along with each attack she will apply freeze to enemies. Oh my gosh! 
Riku Kai's best traits are Overlord, Avatar, and Glitch. Alright, next one is Giorna Pre Requiem. Giorna is still one of the best heal nature units with this insane damage and cheap to max upgrade in this new Halloween anime Last Stand update. Griorna pre requiem stats a max upgrade and max of LR, 3.4 million damage with his SPA at 9.39 seconds, making his damage per second at 362,087, which is extremely strong for a nature heal unit. Giorna pre requiem's best traits are glitched, avatar, and overlord. Okay, next unit is Needle Queen Kai. Needle Queen Kai is one of the strongest units with her unique passive and insane damage at later upgrades. Needle Queen Kai stats a max upgrade and max of LR, 10.7 million damage with her hemorrhage dealing 15 million and her SPA at 9.28 seconds, making her damage per second at 2,769,396. Oh my gosh. Needle Queen's Kai's passive's perfect seal. Needle Queen will be able to deal 300% more damage against all types of enemies, which is extremely overpowered for caverns, so I highly recommend to pull for this unit as it will help you in the long run. The best traits you can have on Needle Queen Kai are glitched, Avatar and Overlord. Alright, next unit is Black Swordsman Berserk. Guts is one of the strongest dark units, especially he will become a full AoE hybrid and will deal hemorrhage damage at later upgrades in this new Halloween anime Last Stand update. Black Swordsman Berserk stats a max upgrade and max of LR, 27.8 million damage with his hemorrhage dealing 39 million and his SPA at 6.81 seconds, making his damage per second at 9,809,104. Oh my gosh, which is insanely strong, especially you can buff his hemorrhage even more with soul once you get to world 2, and at later upgrades, it becomes a fully UE, which will be useful for legend stages, portals, and many more. The best traits you can have on Black Swordsman Berserk are Glitched, Avatar, and Overlord. Okay, next one is Pride the One. Eskinor is one of the best damage per second unit with his overpower fully via later upgrades and is extremely good team buff. Pride the One stats a max upgrade and max level at max buff are 35.5 million damage with his burning dealing 42.6 million and his SPA at 5.09 seconds, making his damage per second at 15,343,811, which is incredibly strong. At later upgrades, he becomes a full AoE unit with a huge range, which will carry you in most purgatory caverns. Not only that, it will also help you with your legend stages, especially if you have Pride the One on your first slot, you will be able to buff your whole team by 20% damage. Pride the One's best traits are Glitched, Avatar, and Overlord. Alright, next one is Pochi Made in Heaven. Pochi is still one of the strongest obtainable units you can get, especially at later upgrades. He will get an overpower ability, which will be able to stun both air and ground enemies at later upgrades. Pochi Made in Heaven stats a max upgrade and max level R. 22.1 million damage with his SPA at 3.99 seconds, making his damage per second at 5.5 million and at later upgrades, Poochie will get a new ability where it will reset every other unit's abilities cooldown, which is extremely broken. How to get Pochi made in heaven is by getting 3 moon fragments which will spawn every 24 hours from the last time you picked it up in the new legend stage ruined Moira and will be needing all three of the diary page. Pochi made in heaven's best traits are glitched, avatar, and overlord. Alright, next in is strongest sorcerer unsealed. Gojo became an extremely strong unit with his insane slow and how incredibly overpowered he is on placement in this new Halloween anime last stand update. Strongest sorcerer unsealed stats a max upgrade and max of LR. 53 million damage with his SPA at 5.82 seconds, making his damage per second at 9,106,529, which is incredibly good, especially he is already strong with this time stop ability that he gets at later upgrades. At upgrade 3, Gojo will get unlimited void where you can manually time stop ability and freeze every enemy in his range and can be activated every 25 seconds 
in three times speed which is insanely strong especially when you're trying to clutch in legend stages portals and many more at the last upgrade strongest sorcerers unsealed will get a nuke ability where it will deal 8 billion damage <gasps> Gasp. Okay, next unit is Ghostly Girdle Negative. Haruna is one of the newest unit added and she became one of the strongest support with her insane passive and fully Yui in this new Halloween anime Last Stand update. Ghostly Girl Negative stats a max upgrade and max VR. 25.6 million damage with her SPA at 6.16 seconds, making her damage per second at... 4,155,844 which is insanely good especially she is a mixture of a support and damage with her insane passive. Ghostly Girl Negative Passive Soul Extraction Every enemy inside the, this unit's range is slowed and every 20 seconds they get stunned. Oh my gosh. How to get Ghostly Girl Negative is through the new Halloween capsule and good luck to everyone who is grinding for Ghostly Girl as she is a RNG to get from the capsule with the other new units. All right, next unit is Aizen Mugen. Aizen is still one of the best, if not the best ultimate unit with its extremely strong passive and it becomes fully UI at later upgrades and will be able to hit both air and ground enemies. <gasps> oh my gosh. Aizen Mugen stats a max upgrade and max VLR. 35.5 million damage with its SPA at 7.51 seconds, making his damage per second at 4,727,030 which is insanely good especially with his passive overwhelming Riatsu. Every kill he gets, it will increase his damage by 0.2% up to 300% which is extremely strong for leaderboard runs and I highly recommend to get Aizen Mugen. How to get Aizen Mugen Evolve is by completing the quest from Mori Kurosaka to conquer the stun in the latest secret soul king palace portal that you can get from the wonderish raid aizen mugen's best traits are glitched avatar and overlord finally the last unit is captain commander kai yamamoto became an insanely strong unit with its fully we and burn at later upgrades in this bleach update captain commander kai stats a max upgrade and max of lr 40.7 million damage with his burn dealing 48.9 million with his SPA at 6.83 seconds, making his damage per second at 13.1 million, which is extremely good, especially he is a fully via later upgrades and will be able to summon enemies. Oh my gosh, Captain Commander Sky's best traits are glitched avatar and overlord that was everything for this video on the top 10 must have units in the new halloween anime last stand update i hope this video helped you in some sort of way remember to subscribe and like and i will see you in my next one bye bye yippee